What's going on, Summoners? Welcome back to another Pro Guides video. I'm Tia. This time around, we've got some really exciting news coming from Riot and the future in other forms of media. So let's just jump right into the video. When big companies start hiring new people to help with projects, that's when you know things are getting serious. Riot recently started hiring for the production of their first ever MMO, but that's not the only thing they're working on behind the scenes. If you take a look at Riot's job pages, you'll notice that there are some major job listings right now. They're looking for a global head of live action film along with a global head of live action TV. So what does this mean? Well, we should definitely expect to see some movies and shows coming from Riot sometime in the future. We already know about Arcane, an animated series that was supposed to be released back in 2020. The series was delayed a year, which means we should be seeing Arcane sometime this year. Yay! Happy noises. The show will dive deep into the lore of Runeterra, specifically covering Piltover and Zaun. We'll see champions like Jinx, Vi, and Caitlyn in the series, but we don't know much else about the plot. Speaking of Arcane, it's important to say that the job description for both of these jobs includes designing a cinematic universe. The obvious comparison is to something like the Marvel Universe, which has roots in almost every form of media. Based on wording alone, Riot really wants to create a cohesive and creative space for the lore in League of Legends. The good news is that we definitely have enough lore and story content for some movies. With over 150 champions, there are so many storylines that have the potential to be fleshed out. This year's story revolving Viego and his release into the world of Runeterra already looks like a classic superhero movie, but I don't think we should get all of our hopes up quite yet. Not to be a downer or anything, but there's a lot that can go wrong when creating a movie or TV series, especially if Riot wants to create a live action film. You need to worry about casting, CGI, and most importantly, the writing. The worst thing that can happen is if Riot releases a poorly written movie just so they can release a movie. Lucky for us though, Riot has done a really good job at designing the current lore, but do they have enough content to create a movie? And what kind of limitations will Riot face? For example, it's really difficult to make CGI look really good without paying a ton of money. If we wanna see something like Teemo or Tristana in a live action movie, it might take a while. Honestly, I'm really interested to see where Riot will go with this, but I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little disappointed. Riot has done an amazing job with their animated videos, and it feels a bit wrong to think that their first movie might not be the same way. Riot is always trying to be a trailblazer, and they've done a pretty good job so far. They're good at learning from other companies' mistakes. What I'm worried about is if they try too hard and go overboard. With all that said, we probably don't need to think about a movie for quite some time. If Riot is hiring their global lead right now, it'll take at least a few years before we see some real progress. Like their MMO, I think Riot will do their best to grab as many talented people as possible for their projects. So now that we've talked about the technicalities, what do you guys think Riot will cover for their first movie? Personally, I think that the Demacian storyline would be perfect for Riot's first League of Legends film. If you can't tell, I'm super, super stoked at the idea. It's probably their most thought out story and it includes iconic characters like Lux, Garrett, and Daddy Silas. Let us know what you guys think though down in the comments below. Another pretty cool area of Runeterra is Bilgewater. The Riot Games Community YouTube channel actually released a short live action video a few years ago. It showed a bit of history between Graves and Twisted Fate, and while it's obvious that it was made by a small group of people, I can see the potential. Whatever Riot decides to cover, I really hope they nail it. If we somehow get a movie on the same caliber as something from the Marvel Universe, it'll mean huge growth for League. It's clear that Riot plans to expand their market as far as possible, and that's understandable, but we'll have to wait a few years before we can really tell if they were successful. And that covers everything we know about future League of Legends movies. If you made it to the end, thanks for sticking around. Make sure you let us know what you think down in the comments below, because I do actually do read your comments. And as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Good luck on the rift. And I saw what you guys did to Kangas and Nate, the weird, I feel uncomfortable. But also, send me memes on my Instagram, because I like to post them. And I don't know, we just, we like to be friends. Okay, bye.